Hey guys, I'm here on top of the sphere. Yes, you heard this very casual sounding man correctly. His name is Mason DeChamps, and there he is on Wednesday, scaling the 366 foot tall spherical structure known as uh, the sphere. Sure, it's about 29,000 feet short of Mount Everest, but mother nature out there is not covered in more than a million tiny LED screens advertising the NBA or whatever. Anyway, our dear sphere peer here is scaling this frontier in something of a protest cheer. No, it's not a speedy crosstown jaunt in opposition of new Vegas laws that can send you to jail for standing still on a pedestrian bridge, but instead, as his Instagram bio states, I climb skyscrapers to raise money for women in crisis pregnancies. That's right, because as he calls himself on his Instagram account, our scaly friend here purports to be pro-life Spider-Man. A title that in and of itself seems to imply that Spider-Man is anti-life, in spite of the fact that Comic Book Resources says Spider-Man has a strict no-kill rule. Though as this article continues, he's done it a handful of times. Like when he lets something called Gog suffocate in a pit of quicksand. Anyway, he claims to have climbed U2's Vegas digs to raise money on behalf of a woman who is scheduled to go through with an abortion this weekend. As of press time, a fundraiser for this woman on behalf of an anti-abortion group called Let Them Live has raised about $267 of a $25,000 goal. On that donation page, Mason claims this climb is a metaphor for the uphill battle this woman called Isabel faces every day. But it's worth pointing out that since the heavily conservative Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, women around the country have faced their own difficult journey up the sphere when it comes to securing reproductive health care. Last year, the nonprofit, nonpartisan Kaiser Family Foundation put out a survey of 569 OBGYNs that found that since the Dobbs decision, 64% of these OBGYNs believe pregnancy-related mortality has gotten worse, 70% think it's made racial and ethnic inequalities worse in maternal health, and even 55% of them say it's made it harder to attract new doctors to the profession. Our Rotund Repellis also notes that he's an ambassador for the far-right Turning Point USA, a student-aged nonprofit advocacy group whose turning point appears to be a pivot away from the concept of the separation of church and state, which is behind initiatives like TPUSA Faith, which claims to be on a mission to restore America's biblical values. And according to the Anti-Defamation League, TPUSA has attracted white nationalists to its events, and its founder has pushed far-right conspiracy theories and promoted Christian nationalism. The concept that, according to Christianity Today, is the belief that America is defined by Christianity and the government should take active steps to keep it that way. In spite of the fact that recent polls have found that one in three Americans don't identify with a religious group, and an amendment to our own little constitution states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. And just to keep this run on sentence on a Forrest Gump-like trajectory, the centrist Brookings Institution and Public Religion Religion Research Institute have said, rising Christian nationalism poses a major threat to the health of our democracy, and in a recent survey of more than 6,000 respondents, the vast majority said they do not want the U.S. to be declared a Christian nation, and disagree that U.S. law should be based on Christian values. How's that for a fun video about a guy climbing the sphere? Anyway, anti-abortion Tobey Maguire here has a history of carrying out similar stunts in the past. In 2021, he scaled Las Vegas' $400 a night Aria Hotel to protest Nevada's COVID-19 health orders. In 2022, he scaled the Salesforce Tower in San Francisco in another anti-abortion protest. And last October, our free climber here did it again in Chicago. You get the bit. While it appears that, yet again on Wednesday, our activist Arachnid here was able to get his message out, as a bunch of other giant messages for streaming service and the National Football League were displayed in blinding color beneath his feet, he and some others were ultimately detained for what police said was a publicity stunt. Quite the statement for the city that's home to the 899 prime rib dinner. Mason has been charged for destroying property greater than five grand and conspiracy to destroy private property, and is due back in court this week. And just in case, after all this, you're still really interested in getting really, really high at the Sphere, just buy a ticket to Dead & Company this summer.